Hi, this is Rachel from the Dotting Center. Let me just start by giving you all a huge virtual hug. No matter where you are in the world, you are dealing with what's going on as a result of COVID-19 right now. Now, hopefully you're all socially distancing and hand washing and staying safe and healthy. And just know that prayers are happening on a huge scale. We'll all get through this. And hopefully we'll be stronger and more prepared for the next global pandemic once all the dust settles. Maybe, as a bonus, we'll stop messing around with all the bats and pangolins. That would be awesome. The fact that you're here on YouTube and not on the couch freaking out watching toxic news all day tells me that you are using your time wisely. You need a distraction, a project. A happy springtime Easter egg dotting tutorial is exactly what you need right now, and I'm happy to give it to you. Yes, yes, it's actually April right now. Even though it feels like one long Wednesday, but trust me, Easter Sunday is on the way. And the way I see it, my job is to serve you all with new project videos. And if I can make you smile or chuckle, then that would just be a bonus for me. I love you guys more than all the toilet paper that my neighbors have so rudely stockpiled. And that's a lot of paper, guys, so let's get that creative flow going and make a happy springtime Easter egg. So here are the four eggs that I made for my Seasons collection. This one is my winter egg. It's blue, all different kinds of blues, and it's got little Swarovski crystals. And uh, my daughter told me, oh, you know, you should have used snowflakes. Yeah, thanks. This is the spring egg, and I love this one. It's so happy. It's flowery and kid-like, and that's the one we're going to do today. This is my summer egg. It has four different variations of a sun on each of the different sides. And it's nice and summer colors. And then this one is my fall egg. And I love this one because it has the wood grain showing up. I used um, some maple stain on that. And then I just didn't clean out the tips of my bottles and just let the colors mix as the leaves transitioned from green down to red and uh, yeah so that's the collection and today we're gonna do the spring egg with all the flowers and I'm gonna do a little bit of a different variation on that and I'll show you um, next so what you need is a wood egg or a regular egg any kind of egg Really, you can get them at hobby stores. I have these at the Dotting Center, of course. And for the top, we're gonna use Deco Art Seabreeze and Green Beret for the bottom. So the first step is to paint the top of your egg using that beautiful Seabreeze color. It's like a robin's egg blue. And I'm actually using, this is like a concealer brush, I think. I got it free in some makeup sampler thing but you know use whatever brush you like um, and it's like a blender brush really so then you let that dry then you come back in and you grab that dark green and paint the bottom third of your egg I'm using rule of thirds here have you guys heard of that it's where uh, you want to break your painting into three parts. It's just more interesting than if you break it into halves or quarters. Something about threes is like a magic, uh, like a magic number, and it just looks, it's more pleasing to the eye. So I just, you know, I need all the help I can get, so I'll just, I'll use that for this. So you get the bottom third painted green, and then this is where the fun part comes in. You take your brush, and you just kind of like wispy, wispy little grassy wisps, just like a Bob Ross thing. Just like if someone would please focus this camera, it would be so much more interesting. Just uh, any day now. There. That's better. All 
right, so you take your brush and you just kind of, you know, it's kind of a dry brush technique. You don't want to get the tip of your brush too wet, otherwise it'll just kind of clump up and uh, not give you those little defined pieces of grass. If it's not working out for you, just switch out your brush. Guaranteed you'll have a brush, whether it be like a fan brush or um, maybe a watercolor brush would work. I don't know. But try different brushes and see which one gives you the results you need. So we're going to grab these two shades of green, festive green and sour apple. These are just lighter colors of green than the green beret that's on the bottom. And they're just going to um, fill in that grass shape with different sizes of dot. And you'll see here the technique. You basically just want to mix it up, different sizes of the same color. So your first dot's going to be the biggest. And then as you use your tool with the paint on it, the dots will just progressively get smaller and smaller. And you just fill in just like this. And then you'll use the other color and do the same thing, filling in each of the spaces evenly and just distribute them uh, however you choose to. Now we'll come in with that lighter color green and just fill in those blank spaces the same way. So here is the effect and we're just gonna repeat this pattern all the way around in that grass section on the full um, surface of the egg. So there we are. We We've done the entire bottom section of the egg. Everything is all nice and dotted and filled in. And now, very important, let that dry. It just needs to be good and dry so you don't accidentally smear your paint while you hold the egg. But now I'm gonna use a stylus and I'll show you the different ways you can make grass, like stalks of grass that come up. So that's the larger end of the stylus tool and you can see that piece of grass is just really thick. So I'm going to use the smaller side and that's a, a little bit less thick but it's still kind of stocky looking, right? It looks a little bit thicker than I want it to look. Um, and that's a darker green um, but you can see you can't really drag the paint too far up. You can't really get a good stem from stylus tools. It still looks neat, but you would probably get a better result um, using a tiny brush or what I'm about to show you, an applicator bottle. So I've got some of this Martha Stewart Lily Pad multi-surface satin paint and I'm going to use this tip on the top of my applicator bottle. These are available at the dotting center. And this is going to give me the finest stem for my flowers. And what you do is you just apply a little bit of pressure to the bottle and then drag up. And what that does is it creates these long flowy pieces of grass that can then be stems of your flowers. And you just want to do this all the way around. And like I said, you can use a really fine um, brush and do the same thing. But this is the basic look that you're going for. Okay, so now you've got all your grass stalks all done. And you want to just go and let that dry. And in the meantime, go pick out all your prettiest flowery colors. Just get the ones, just get them all. This is smooth. Look at that. Really, I need to hire a hand model. Hey, Evie, can you help me out with something? Yeah. With what? Well, I need you to be my hand model. Can you do that for me? Okay. But how, what will I get if I do it for you? Oh, see, okay. So you want, you want something for it, huh? Well, what can I do for you? I want ice cream. Ice cream? Yeah. Okay. All right. You drive a hard bargain, kid. 
<laughs> it's a deal. All right, so the first flower, let's see, what are we going to do? First thing you want to do is draw a stem. And you know, different flowers have different stems and leaf shapes. And if some of you are, you know, into gardening, you will know that uh, none of these flowers that you see are really based in any kind of reality. These are just imaginary flowers. You just go through your memory banks and think of all the different leaf shapes and uh, flower shapes and colors and just have fun with it, you know? So I'm going to show you two different ways to make a, this is like a daisy. You can load up your stylus tool and create petals, right? And sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. I've found that the smaller the flower, sometimes it just doesn't look right. So I didn't like the way that looked. That's, that's passable, but there is a better way and I'll show you that next. So I went and got my large flat uh, silicone tool and just pretended like that never happened. Which, by the way, if you don't make mistakes, you don't need these. But if you do, I have them available at the dotting center, of course. Now take the small end of your stylus tool and make a circle out of a bunch of white dots. And you want to make sure those dots are loaded up with a lot of paint. Then what you do is grab a stylus tool that's clean-ish and just drag those dots in towards the center. It just looks a lot cleaner, I feel like. That's a much more successful daisy. So now we're gonna come in with little, um, with more little flowers. Maybe these are on the side so you don't see them kind of facing outward. And here's a, another tiny flower. And, yep, just like that. So now we're moving on to a different flower and this is going to have a different uh, shape of a stem. Okay, so now we're going to grab some pretty, this is like a coral color, and these petals are going to open up kind of like a peony, like, uh, you know, I, oh my God, I was really proud of this one. Isn't that awesome? That one just worked out. I don't know, none of, none of the other ones worked out as well, but you just kind of have the petals open up from the outside and then they get tighter and smaller as they go in towards the center of the flower. And maybe just a little bud here. There, couple petals off to the side. Nice, I like that one. All right, on to the next. Let's see, what are we doing now? We're just gonna put uh, two stems. And also pay attention as you make these flowers, you want the tops of them to stagger. So have some be tall and then the next one be short and kind of make, give it some visual interest height-wise in that way. We're going to do a five pointed, five petaled yellow flower at the top. So do five dots. Make sure your dots are loaded up with paint. And then, bam, get a quick change. Then, using a silicone tool, just kind of drag them all in. And this didn't look good. So I wiped that off and started again. By the way, I'm somebody who likes to 
show mistakes. I don't really like to show them, but I mean, I feel like it's informative to see people mess up, especially on video. Um, you know, because I mean, on YouTube, we could easily edit this out and I could feel really good about myself that I got it. I nailed it the first time, or I could show you guys how to recover a little bit and maybe you can learn something from that. So that's what I choose to do. So now that we nailed that technique, we're gonna go in and do another one the same way. And now I'm gonna just attach it to that stem. You could do the stems after you do the flowers. That might actually be a better way to do it. I'm not sure. And now to fill in that space down below, we're just gonna add another white daisy. Now we're gonna add a plant that has like a droopy stem with hanging flowers. Um, so you wanna create this kind of stock with uh, a bunch of offshoots and have, the, have it kind of angled downwards. And then grab a beautiful purple. And we're gonna add a four petaled purple flower on the end of each of those um, stems. And now using your smallest tool, like a pointed silicone tool, just come in and connect those dots. And uh, there you go. Okay, now this one, this one is not great. I didn't end up liking it, so I'm fast forwarding it for you. This space right here, it you can do this, but meh, you could probably come up with something better. This one really didn't. This is like some kind of weird marshmallow tree. I don't know. It didn't. It didn't end up looking that great. So, I invite you to add your own flower design in this space. Make it better. All right, so now the whole thing is dry. It's very important to make sure that uh, you let it dry in between um, because the last thing you wanna do is smear all your hard work. And here I'm just gonna add a quick little fern right in this space, just this nice little filler. And now I'm gonna add just a bunch of random stems and add uh, maybe two or three different colors of flowers right there, just to finish off um, the flower part. So here we're gonna add a nice little happy pink flower. Just a happy flower right there, just feel the freedom. In the pink flower. This flower doesn't know there's coronavirus right now. It's just springing up, happy as can be. Look at how perky it is. So happy in the breeze. Now we're gonna add another little, little tiny bud of a pink flower. Right there and right there. And maybe another one. Right there. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just a happy little flower. So you guys, I totally love Bob Ross. How many of you love him? And he, his merch is like out of control right now. He's making a comeback. Like there are like Halloween costumes and magnets and puzzles and games. I wonder what he would think of that. That just would, I'm sure it would blow his mind all day long. 
So now we're going to add more of those purple flowers and just kind of put them all throughout the rest of that section and just make it extra colorful. And then we're going to let this dry and come in and add more color to those flowers. Okay, so now that the egg is dry, all the paint is pretty much all the way dry, we're going to go in and detail the inside section of each of those flowers. And I just alternated. I used yellow and white for the insides of those flowers. So when you're adding the center to these flowers, you just want to pay attention to how your flower is facing. If it's facing out, then you just put it right in the center. But if it's kind of like this one, if it's facing upwards, you want to make it so that the petals are um, in the forefront and the center is kind of facing wherever that flower is. Can I just say facing one more time? Oh my gosh. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Okay. So here we're going to just add a couple more happy little flowers. Just add some pops of color right there. Make it nice and flowery. So now we're going to add just a pretty shiny blue butterfly right at the top. Nothing says spring like butterflies and flowers. Okay, so here is the egg all dried as we have done it. And then this one is the one that I did previously on the right. Now we're going to have two different treatments. See how the one on the left is just going to be open on the top. I like how the sky is just open on that left egg. On the right, it's a little bit more ornate in that I added light blue dots and white dots to the sky. And then that dot right on top, but I kind of like the way this looks better. It's a little less busy, but you guys know I got to go extra. So that's right. I'm pulling out the dragonfly glaze. Oh yeah. That'll shine that puppy up real nice. Sorry. <laughs> I get excited. First thing you want to make sure you shake it really well because all the glitter can kind of settle on the bottom, but this is what it looks like. It's kind of in a milky uh, mixture right there and the pieces of glitter are nice and subtle. They're very fine. And then we're going to just apply it in a light glaze right over the top. I like this stuff because the, the glitter is so fine that it's like opalescent. It's not chunky and uh, it doesn't tend to look too cheap looking like some glitter can. And uh, it just kind of gives it a iridescent finish. And now for the final step, we're going to take it outside and spray it with my favorite triple thick gloss glaze and get it extra shiny. So there it is, springtime egg. I loved this project and I hope you guys did too. And if you did, hey, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you're in the market for dotting tools, come on over to the Dotting Center on Etsy. I'm still open for business, people. In the meantime, I've got other things I gotta deal with. Pretty sure I can get one of my neighbors to sell me a roll of toilet paper for a hundred bucks. But, uh, yeah, it's not looking good. Anyway, I love you guys, and stay strong, and keep painting, because it'll make you feel better, for sure. Until next time, bye.